and I actually just took a really cool road trip in my B9 Audi S4. My windshield on this car is absolutely destroyed. Probably like yeah. anime sticker. The yeah. Natasha livery. <laughs> First stop is in Quana, Texas. Here's my call. If you hear a faint whistle, that's my intake. No, oh, there's the Colorado sign, so. Yay. That's all hail on the ground. Okay, so I made it to Colorado Springs. We'll see you guys in the morning. Bye. But I don't see any kind of damage on the car itself. All I see is swirls and paint correction needed. So I missed most of the hill, but it hit some of it. Wow, this swirly. Oof. So day two, what's in store for today? I'm super excited right now because we are about to go to Pikes Peak. I lived here for seven years and I never went to Pikes Peak, but because I'm staying in Colorado Springs, uh, I'm pretty close to where Pikes Peak's entryway is. And I paid $17 last night to enter the Pikes Peak kind of gate or whatever at 10 a.m. So I've got about an hour and 15 minutes to kill. I'm gonna get gas, get some coffee, maybe a small breakfast. And then we're gonna go up Pikes Peak. I've never done it. And it's supposed to snow there later today but my time slot between 10 and 12 is actually supposed to be nice and clear. So I'm just gonna film it, so let's go check it out. First breakfast, so I am going to eat this ginormous breakfast burrito that I got from this place in Colorado Springs called Alfonso's. Now it took a long time to get it, but it's massive and it looks really good. I, I think this thing has like 12 eggs in it. Mm-hmm. Eggs, potato, and cheese. I didn't get meat this time, but normally I get meat, like steak. And this is delicious. And I was wondering why it was going to be $9, but it's because it's the size of my head. But, green salsa. So I have a feeling this is gonna be a very slow drive. I'm looking at some of the cars that are about to go up and this is gonna be a cruise. This is not gonna be a spirited drive up Pikes Peak, unfortunately. Um, I thought it would be less crowded today, but it is very crowded, so that sucks. All right, you all set? All right, thank you, man. Of course. Love that shirt. Oh, thank you. <laughs>
down to 46 degrees. how watching a video on this might be. It might be pretty boring, but it is nerve-wracking driving this. I I don't even understand how those guys doing the Pikes Peak hill climb and a motorcycle, like, you've got to have some cojones to, to do this at speeds faster than maybe even 40, 50 miles an hour, but props to you. I'm stuck behind a uh, suburban train mill over here, but it's fine. I will say this road is very well maintained. It's a really, really smooth road. Very minimal dirt on it, minimal damage, minimal cracks. Very, very well maintained. So even with, obviously the race cars do it all the time, motorcycles do it, but even if you have a slammed street car, this is pretty doable. You're not going to be able to do some of the pull-offs, but you can definitely drive up here pretty easily. Lots of minivans. Okay, he's ready. Are oh, you going to do it in 20 minutes? No, no, not with this much traffic, no. <laughs> So I am on Pikes Peak, pretty high up. So we're gonna walk up a little bit. Make sure I don't get bit by a snake or some Unbelievable. Look at these dudes, I bet that's fun. It's so damn peaceful up here. Let's try to get a different angle. Okay, so getting out at these switchbacks is pretty cool because of this. Oh, so awesome. Unbelievable. There's this guys again. <laughs> yeah, my man! <laughs> 
<laughs> My license plate worked. He loves pizza too. That is awesome. So here's a quick angle. Tell me that's not awesome. I wish I could park my car right there and get all this in the back. So sick, so sick. Let's get a zoomed out perspective. Awesome. All right, let's get down. I'm gonna hit those, see if we can see what people are doing. Beautiful. Colorado, man. Unreal. Done. That was fun. And I'm finally at my hotel. Marriott and Broomfield. I'm gonna be honest, I am honestly kind of tired of driving. I'm excited to not be driving anymore. So, yeah, let's check in. Okay, so day three. Don't have much car stuff to focus on today, but at least I got a, a nice view. My homeboy right there. I was about to go get some breakfast, but then I remember the guy at the front desk was super nice. And he hooked me up with one of these free breakfast things at the Marriott. What a nice guy. Okay, so today I'm just hanging out with some friends that are not car related friends. So we're not going to really do much. Love walking up to this thing. I didn't pack enough uh, cold winter clothes. It's only for today, but quick stop in TJ Maxx will solve that. These are awesome. I might have to get this one. So I think the winner is going to be this. Maybe this. One of these. Which one are you buying? Mm. Oh! I think it's cool. 
I dig this thing. And it makes me want to get one just for fun. Let's go say hi to him. Yellow. Yeah, but I'm not gonna be the guy who <laughs> lays this down. Yeah. Woo! Yeah, it's so we responsive. Got, we got the yes for us. Woo! We got this. We got this. We got this. And then we got this. We we made it to Brazil. Now there's eight thirty-two Miata stuck behind one pickup truck. <laughs>